Hey guys, today we are gonna make some boba drinks. There's something for everyone, so be sure to watch to the end and let me know which one is your favorite. But I'm gonna start with my favorite, which is the Vietnamese coffee, because I need that jolt because I'm always tired. We're gonna start by adding some condensed milk into a cup. It's just very sweet, thick, sweetened milk. That's essential to Vietnamese coffee. I'm adding like maybe two tablespoons here. And then here is my Vietnamese coffee filter. This one is a traditional Vietnamese coffee filter. It just percolates espresso beans with water down into the cup. And you can find this on Amazon. It's really cheap. It's like $8. It's great for camping or bringing along with you anytime you need coffee. This isn't Vietnamese coffee. This is not like traditional Vietnamese coffee. It's coffee with chicory. Just It just tastes really, really good. And then I'm gonna fill the coffee filter up with two hefty scoops. It's already pre-ground, so I don't need to do much. There's a tamp that you just put right on top, drop it down, and then we're gonna fill the fin, that's what it's called, the filter, with some hot water. And let her drip. So it'll start coming out fast, because your coffee grounds need to bloom, but once it does, it'll slow down a bit. And I like to kind of press it down a little bit more. So that's round one of filling up the filter. I'm gonna do it twice, just because for a cup this size, I kind of want a lot of coffee. If you notice, the second time around with the hot water, the coffee grounds have bloomed, so it's going through a lot slower, so it's gonna be nice and concentrated. I try to cut myself off from Vietnamese coffee by like, 2 p.m. Otherwise, I'm probably not going to sleep that night. Okay, now I'm going to add some boba, which I've already cooked here. I've cooked enough boba for the entire video, so we have a lot of bobas. I found a really good boba place online, so if you guys want to buy dry tapioca balls that basically look like this, and you just cook it up like pasta, I'll link it in the description box below. It's pretty cheap too. I'm gonna add a nice spoonful of boba into our drink. And then with my spoon, I'll just mix, mix, mix. Now we fill it with lots of ice all the way to the top. I know this looks pretty thick, but the ice will dilute it and cool it down. And this is our Vietnamese iced coffee, AKA Café Soda with boba. Mm. That is strong and delicious. And you guys know I love my coffees and teas, so of course I've dedicated a whole chapter to it where you can find more delicious Vietnamese drinks and other yummy coffee and tea drinks in my cookbook. Be sure to check out the link in the description box below and please, please, please pre-order it because that'll help me get onto the best selling list, which is like a dream. So help a girl out. All right, our next one is a matcha milk boba with cheese foam, which is kind of like the matcha dalgona except reversed. So first I'm gonna make my matcha. I have one teaspoon of matcha powder here. You can use any kind that you find at the store, they're all really good for drinks. So just add it to my bowl. And then I'll pour in about a quarter cup of hot water and we'll whisk it up. So here I have a traditional matcha whisk, which you could just whisk it up in here. But like I told you guys in my tiramisu video, I actually really prefer using the Aero Latte. This one is supposed to foam your milk and make it nice and frothy, but I found that whisking or using it for my matcha really dissolves the granules and it just becomes like a lot smoother. I think Ikea even carries one of these for like $5. So I'll pour our matcha into a cup. And then I usually like my matcha slightly sweetened. So here I have some simple syrup. I just cooked up some equal amounts of brown sugar, light brown sugar with water. So like half a cup of brown sugar to half a cup of water. For this, I'm just gonna add maybe two teaspoons, but you can add as much or as little as you'd like. Get some of our boba in there, some milk, ice. We'll set this aside, just let it kind of cool, do its thing, and then I'll show you guys how to make cheese foam. For the cheese foam, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of cream cheese, and then about a quarter cup of whipped cream and a tablespoon of sugar. Then we're just gonna whip it up until it's nice, foamy, and delicious. This is kind of more like cheesecake. When they say cheese foam, it's not like salty, although they have those salted cheese, and I'm not down for salted drinks. Our cheese foam looks so yummy. This is probably a little thicker than I wanted it. If it gets too thick like this, just add more milk to thin it out because you want it to be kind of thin to mix in with the drink. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, let's top it off. 
and then we'll just give it a final dusting of matcha powder. Now we give it a try. Mm, that is good. For the matcha earlier, if you don't want a lot of milk in there, you can totally leave it out and just add more water. I like the milk combination and the cheese foam. The cheese foam will make it kind of milky already, so it's really up to you. But this is really good. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a matcha cheesecake. This next one we're gonna do is a strawberry black tea milk tea, which is so yummy. I'm gonna have some fruit bits in there, so we're gonna start by processing our uh, strawberries. I have one cup here, and I'm gonna add it to my food processor. The reason why I'm using a food processor is because I think that it purees it better and then I can control the amount of chunks that I want, but you guys will see what I mean. This is just a regular mini food prep, food processor, just four cups, nothing fancy. And then we just give it a whirl. Okay, so that's the first round. As you guys can see, I have like large fruit bits and I love when my milk tea has, or even my boba teas have those fruit bits because it just kind of adds to the texture. So I'm gonna add some to my shaker. You can add as much or as little as you'd like. I like a lot. And then now we're gonna puree the rest. All right, now we have a strawberry puree. I'm just gonna add some here. So this is gonna be a doubly strawberry drink. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of our simple syrup just to sweeten it up slightly. Some ice and then black tea that I have already brewed. So I like making my black tea ahead of time or actually green tea as well. You can do green or black. I tend to like black, um, but I just steep it with a bunch of black tea bags with hot water and let it cool down into this jar. You can keep it in the fridge so you have iced tea at all times or you can make boba drinks like this. Close our shaker and just give it a mix, mix, mix. This is the ultimate mix, mix, mix. And because I know you guys are gonna ask, I got this at Pottery Barn. If I can find it, I'll link it in the description box below. Since this is a boba video, some more boba. And then I'm just gonna open this up. The foam on top is so pretty. I'm gonna pour it right in. Ta-da, we have a beautiful black strawberry tea. I'm not gonna add milk in it since for fruited drinks like this, I tend to like it just pure and it's so refreshing, but with the boba, it's just extra, extra yummy. Might have had a little bit too much boba, but that's okay. This is so yummy. I get the strawberry bits and then the strawberry puree with the black tea is just, it's sweet, it's, it tastes like summer. With boba, it's nice and chewy. This is like a strawberry gummy bear in a cup. All right, so this next one is a really interesting one that I actually craved while I was pregnant. I found out about this drink last year from Bopo Mofo, which is um, Wang Fu Phil's boba restaurant. Um, he's like a YouTube veteran, so if you guys wanna check it out, I have the information in the link description box below. You just blend, actually I don't know how they do that, this is just my interpretation of it, but basically I just blend watermelon into like a watery consistency. I have a whole bowl of watermelon, probably like two cups worth. And if you guys wanna see how to cut watermelon, I have many videos on that at this point with either fun gadgets or by hand. But now we'll just blend this up. I'm using my Vitamix here, which does a really, really great job of just like pulverizing and liquefying any type of fruit. And that looks pretty perfect. I love watermelon juice. I'm gonna start by adding my boba into the cup. I won't add as much as I did last time. Just one scoop is probably good. And then some ice. Our watermelon drink, I'm gonna try to fill it up as much as possible up to halfway, because I want it to be a very even ratio between the watermelon juice and our oat milk. That's good. And now let's watch some magic happen. It's so cool how the milk kind of just separates from the juice. Mm. All right, at Bopo Mofo, they somehow make the watermelon and the milk separate, so hopefully I can achieve that as well. No! 
Okay, mine did not mix, so I have no idea how, what voodoo magic you guys do to make it separate like that. But this still looks pretty cool. But that looks really cool. Maybe I needed to strain the watermelon pulp, but I kind of like having it. Mm. Super tasty either way. Mm. It's creamy and milky yet refreshing with the watermelon. You definitely get that pow from the watermelon, which is so good. Mm. Try this at home, you guys. Let me know what you think. Okay. So this next one is actually one that I grew up having all the time, minus the boba, but I thought it would go really well with boba, and it's super kid-friendly. We have a kid here that will be helping me. Say hi, Cece. Hi, Cece. No, say hi to the camera. Say hi. hi. Camera. No, say hi. Hi. <laughs> but basically, it's an avocado smoothie. Now, if you guys have never tried an avocado <laughs> smoothie, it's pretty delicious. It's creamy. Okay, let's spoon it. You want to put it in the blender? Yay! Good job! And then I like adding half a banana just to make it extra creamy. Do you want to add half a banana? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you can hold it. You can hold it. Okay. You can eat it. And then some condensed milk. The banana already provides it with a little bit of sweetness, but the condensed milk will just kind of balance it all out. I'm adding maybe a tablespoon or two here. Some crushed ice or lots of ice. What is this? Ice. Yeah. Is it cold or hot? Cold. Cold. Now at this point, you can add any kind of milk you have. I have oatly or I have regular milk. I think yeah, I'll do. I'll, I'll, I think I'll do regular milk. You want to? Milk? No, mommy will do it. Okay. Just a little bit. Mommy will do it. We might have to add a little bit more milk later to thin it out, but I'll see after I blend it up. Close the cap. Nope. Nope. That looks so yummy. It looks like matcha kind of. You want to try it? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I'm going to add boba just into mine. Cece, you're too young for boba. Boba. You can try it later, okay? Okay, put it in the glass. Does it look yummy? Yeah. You want to try some in your purple cup? Boba in a purple cup? No, no boba. You're too young. Okay, ice cream. Avocado ice cream. It's kind of like avocado ice cream. It's avocado smoothie. Yes, avocado smoothie ice cream. Let's put our straw, the tip. Two. The tip goes in here. We'll put it in here. One, two, three. Here is our avocado smoothie. Cheers. Mm. Mm. This is a slice of my childhood right here. My dad used to make this all the time and my mom. We haven't made it in forever. It does taste like avocado ice cream. Just avocado ice cream. Mm. So here we have all of our boba drinks here. Vietnamese coffee, we have our matcha cheese foam, I'll call that matcha cheesecake, our watermelon, oatly, our strawberry black tea, and our avocado smoothie. It's hard to say which one is my favorite, actually. I really love Vietnamese coffee. The watermelon oat one, I thought was gonna look a lot different. Porridge, That's watermelon. But anyways, let me know in the comment section below which one you guys would try My and... Way. You can hold it. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Was it good? Yeah. Did you get a boba? Yeah. Mm.